Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, Buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. I'm Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone. Bram, we are in spooky season. Yes, it's my favorite time of the year. I mean, aside from my birthday month, but you know, this is my favorite time of the year. Just got back from Salem. I just did. I just did. uh, um, What do you call it? uh, uh, Sleepy Hollow. I did a whole photo shoot there. Like, man, oh, man, oh, man. We we took a week off. We need to take a little bit of a break. Get get some time with the, the families and some travel time in there. You officiated a wedding. We've been doing crazy things. We sure have. And happy anniversary to you and Danielle. Thank you. Thank you. I, as far as I know, I think it's 14 years married. Yeah, <laughs> you, be- you better be sure about that. <laughs> I don't math day. I don't math. Uh, you know, like I know it's 21 years together. I'm pretty sure it's 14 years, yeah, something like that. Um, what do you call it? I'm supposed to make a post and, and I still have not made a post. I'm a bad Whoopsie person. Daisy. Whoopsie well, Daisy. So so on our anniversary, since what do you call it? The the um, the network that the show that Dylan was on, uh, you know, is just whatever. Um, they moved. They kept moving the date for the finale, and then the finale wound up being on our anniversary. Oh, go so, figure. You know, so we had got stuck sitting and watching that for our anniversary rather than going out and doing anything special. But we did go to you know to lunch today, so that was nice. Yeah, and and you guys were in Salem, and I feel like every year you go to Salem, and every year I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. I want to go to Salem, and here I am, still not having gone to Salem. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hook you up, kid. I will hook you up. You need to go. First of I all, do. you have such you'd have such a great freaking time. Um, it, it, I got to tell you, look, it, I I do. Yes, it's I have a, a really great time because I have a lot of friends that I consider family there. Um, what do you call it? Over the years, I've I've grown very, very close. To a lot of them. The the city of Salem takes care of me when I'm there. Mm-hmm. The cops know I'm there. I don't have any issues. You know what I mean? Uh, they have a parking spot for me the whole nine yards. But ladies and gentlemen, if you plan on traveling to Salem, don't drive into Salem in the month of October. If you're going to come visit, you know what I mean? Don't expect to get into everything and see everything you want to see, because the lines are. The crowds are unfreaking real. It is. I need to go in like April. (laughs) Yeah, you need to go. You need to go when it's not spooky season. Now, yes, it's cool as 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 sin to go there and and be there in spooky season, because, again, it is it is Salem. It is which city and people are. I mean, I mean, like I said, it is it is a real sight to see. Mm -hmm. However, however, it is crazy here. If you are if you people are watching, you know, the what do you call it? The Ugh. if you watch our our live feed um, on YouTube, if you don't, you should, because we make some of the best facial expressions. Ever. But you'll see you'll see the video that I just showed. Um, that Dana looks like and, and Bourbon Street. It is twice as busy as Bourbon Street. Uh, that's yeah. just one area. That's Essex. And that's just a small little piece of Essex. Um, like, you know, I know my way around so I can kind of get around the crowds to a certain extent. But there are there are. There are people everywhere. You uh-huh. know what I mean? It is worse than going into Manhattan. It might be it might be equivalent to being in Manhattan for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Damn. That's how crazy it is. Um, or the Puerto Rican Day Festival. Like mm-hmm. the 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 amounts of people, thousands upon thousands, and everybody wants to get in to see things and so forth. The, just to get into stores to buy things, you're waiting on lines. Oh my god. It is obscene. Ugh. Obscene. So one one first tip for going into Salem. Try not to go in October if you can get around going not going in October, September. That's still a little busy, but, you know, it's a little bit more, you know, accessible. Um, I think they shut down and for a while in like November, December, because. So what it's, about you know, actual Halloween? Do like the weekend oh, of Halloween? weekend? Oh, is it the be- worst. <laughs> My sister's going that weekend. <laughs> no, 
No, the one yeah. that you do on batting with. No, no, my other sister Brittany. Oh, no, yeah. but wait, is she going with um with what's her face? No, she's going with her husband. I don't know. They're going to Massachusetts for some reason, and Salem is on the list while they're there. Um, but you know, they they thankfully they love me there, and I appreciate them so much. Um, what do you call it? We get the special tours. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you know, like the the Count Orlock's uh, haunted mansion, uh, not haunted mansion. Um. Oh, my God, he's going to kill me. But Count Orlocks is what it is. Uh -huh. uh, he's it's it's a like he's got all the figures in there, all the you know, like it is one of the most in uh, nightmare gallery. That's what it is. Count or Orlocks nightmare gallery. Mm -hmm. um, what do you call it? James is the owner. Fantastic. Phenomenal. He's been doing this since he was a kid. He has the collection like nobody's business. And um, he has a special VIP thing that's downstairs that, you know, either you have to pay big money to go do or, you know, we got invited to go. And, and James is like showing us all the things and, you know, you're seeing all the really cool it, this stuff that you don't get to see anywhere else. So that that kind of a thing, you know, we get that special treatment. Um, you know, I, I, you know, Reds, which is I'm wearing their shirt right now. See, Reds. Yeah, um, Ooh, it's one of my favorite places. I have a shirt that says 1692 on it. And then underneath it, it says they missed one <laughs> and nobody That's... understood. Well, not nobody. My sister was like, I have to ask you, what does your shirt mean? And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. That's a great shirt. You got to wear that if you go, though. Uh, yes. You got to wear that. Yeah. The um. Oh, my God. What was it? Um. Oh, now I forgot exactly what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Reds. So Reds. Reds. The best breakfast in, in Salem, that and Salem's Retreat. You cannot go wrong with either of them. Reds, there's always a line down the road. Damn. They're so good to me. I call them. They're like, Brim's coming in. They hold a spot for me. Yeah. Coming through the back door. You know what I mean? Like, they, everybody is so good to me. And they're, they're That's you know, awesome. it, 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 you can't go. And I can see Bora. And you know, you know about Bora. Uh -huh. So yes. what do you call it? Uh, Bora's is one of my favorite hey, people. Guys, go um, check out Brim's social media and then you'll get to see him, too. <laughs> so did you, you did you see the, the video we did? Uh huh. Yeah, that's funny. So wait till you see the other video we did. Oh, I can't wait. You're going to piss on that one. That uh, that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, the you know, the videos of um that they have, like where there's like um like the, the man and the woman and they're singing you know, I belong with you. You belong with me in my sweet heart, that thing. Mm -hmm. And they're like in the car driving. And so let's just say we did a version of that. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be good. Um, And then I will send you the outtakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is flipping hilarious. Um, I am just I everything about it just is awesome. Then, you know, other spooky stuff I did with um with my buddy Steph, who's at Yeah Food Beer on on Instagram, she's does all this influencing stuff. And um, uh, that we did a bunch of videos, but one of them was with Serendipity. Do you ever see that movie, Serendipity? I love that movie. That's where they filmed that and the scene where they're sitting in the thing. And yeah, that's that's where it was. Um, and what do you call it? Uh, we did because they did a, a, a thing with with Wicked. So, you know, Wicked, the musical. Mm -hmm. So we wound up doing there's a shake, a wicked shake that we did. And it was unfreaking real. The mint um, chocolate shake. Yes, it is so, good. so spooky season. And if you want to talk about, you know, spooky, but awesome. Um, Dana dancing is now a gift. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's been a gift. <laughs> um, and what do you call it? What do you call it? It has been used at least. 1.8 thousand times holy shit <laughs> so what do you call it um so yes that is that is a thing so if you go to at, G, at you know if you go to post something um what do you call it you, you can put uh dana prayer you should be able to come up if not you can always pull the gif at uh giphy g-i-p-h-y dot com backslash g-h-r and you can get oh, that oh my god that is amazing yeah. i'm a isn't gif that, isn't that awesome Yay! I don't get. I, I want to do more of you. I just I don't have those videos, but I had to do that video because this is just the most hilarious, amazing. It is hilarious. <laughs> you are you are a boss, and I just I <laughs> that move right there gets me every time. Well, it's funny uh, because that move right there, I was actually staring at somebody into their eyes as I was doing it. 
That's <laughs> you nasty. You nasty. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, my gosh. What a night, man. I love it. Yeah. So I didn't know I because I hadn't spoken to you. So I didn't know if you knew that. I did um, not. I'm so yeah. excited now. I'm going to have to use it everywhere. Yes, you should. As you should. Um, I'm just trying to see if uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. All right. Just trying to look it up. Yeah, you should be able to get it. No problem. What do you call Fun. it? Uh, my goodness. Anyways, so we got some interesting ones here. We I sure see, do. I see that we're uh, we've got some some interesting things. And uh, I I am afraid to, to you know, to even say one of them. Um, but, <laughs> you know, uh, who's who's going first today? Is it me? Because it you is introduced? you. It is you me. are okay. the first secret reader. OK, so let let us get us ourselves started here. All right. The first writer says I'm dating a stripper who's in a relationship with someone else. My plan is, of course, to replace him. She's 30 years younger than me and born the same year as my oldest daughter. Well, OK, then um, <laughs> there's lots of interesting things about all this. Um, would you like to start? I Because. I, well, I'm going to I'm going to assemble my 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 thoughts your here. Thoughts? My thoughts. <laughs> I, I mean, I have lots of questions because um, while you are dating this um, stripper, are you dating her at her place of employment? Because it could just be that she is having she's dancing like you're paying her, but that's right. not a date. Or are we going out on actual dates? I don't want to assume that um, there isn't a relationship there because it's also possible that people uh, could develop feelings in that situation and end up dating. Um, but it's also possible, it's also on the realm of possibility, that uh, you think you're dating and she thinks that you're paying for her cable bill <laughs> mm -hmm. that's true there's and the possibilities there <laughs> look i mean i and I, i'm gonna let's put first of all i don't know what this guy looks like if he's mm -hmm. got money right. I, I don't know any of that stuff i you know the fact that matters is yeah look i get it 30 years younger man first of all y'all y'all yeah, yeah. 30 years younger. I mean, y'all y'all don't know what to do with that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, you can't keep up. I don't give a damn who you are. I'm good. I don't think I can handle somebody 30 years younger than me. Well, here's the thing. 30 years younger in age also means 30 years younger in experiences. And mentally. In brain. In, and I'm like, I... No, thank you. I don't even want 20 years younger. I don't even want 10 <laughs> years younger. Like, no thing. I don't want somebody that is lacking as much experience and growth as I am. Like, right. That sounds like drama and headaches and not a lot of fun. Well, Danielle is is like nine years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So what do you call it? Um, But. You know, again, I've also been with her for 21 years, you know, also, like women tend to be, um, I a guess, more a mature. little more mature, but 30 years. I don't know if we could make if we could bridge that gap. <laughs> and she's the same age as his oldest daughter. Like, like, all right, you wiped we're... your oldest daughter's ass. Now picture doing that. <laughs> but I mean, look, and, you know, and OK, now as a as a guy, as a guy, I'd be like, Hell yeah, I want to hit that. Blah, 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 blah. Right, you know right, what I right. mean? You know, because that's that's a guy thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, all right. Well, you know, 20 year old, uh, you know, and and he's you know, what is he? 50. You know what I'm saying? If that's the right. case or, yeah. you know, because that's probably what this is. It's like right around there. I'm assuming. Right. I got to believe. But, you know, like, uh, look, I'm 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 49. I'm just edging on 50. I'm trying to get myself back into the sh into shape other than round. And the fact of the matter is, is that. You know, like I can go when I'm going, you know, and mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? But sometimes it's just like, you know, I, I'm tired. I need to stop. I can't handle it. You know what I mean? You yes. do the work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I, I, just, I can't. 
I can't no more. I can't do it anymore. Like well, I'm she getting, is you know, doing the work. She's getting paid for it too. Well, well that <laughs> who on my side? No, no, no. Oh, you're this talking about guy, this one. This guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, is she is he getting the lap dance? And he's like, Oh, she's my girlfriend. Oh my goodness, I love it. Her ass just wiggles in my face so nice. Mm-hmm. You know, like I don't know, man. Um, uh, by the way, uh, off topic. Did you ever get that candle? Did you ever get the candle? Because you were looking. I thought no, you were I was for trying it. to get the candle for a very long time. And it is like. I'm not able to find the vagina candle. That sucks. Yeah, because <laughs> I wanted you to smell it. and Let me know what it smelled like. <laughs> I would smell it and then I would send it to you. <laughs> You're an asshole. I knew you would do that. You would get it. And because I would be like. I am not lighting that. And then Danielle would be like, oh, yeah, Danielle, I know she would have my back. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. She'd be like, oh, yeah, come light it and smell it. You set it on. Yeah, you're going to smell it. Now you're going to smell it. And you can tell me what it smells like. Um, Yeah. Um, But no, again, back to this dude. All right, bro. If you're like 50 or or even like 55 and you're going to get with a 20 year old, bro, how long is that going to last? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe it'll last for a while. She wants a sugar daddy. I don't know. Me? But I, mean, I would be watching for that because that's what a lot of those, you know, that's what happens to a lot of those guys. You know, I would be cautious in that situation. I am not going to say that it never happens because I am sure that it does. And maybe, maybe she really does love you. Maybe, maybe she really does love your wallet. Oh, yeah. The f- time will tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh. well, we'll see. And uh he she's in a relationship with so well you know what uh yeah no no she he said she i was gonna say we don't even know if it's a female um but yeah it's a female it's um wow Mm -hmm. all right well look you know good luck with all that um you know uh you know just enjoy that you know while you can because uh, you know what he might actually have an update on this one because i remember that this one in particular was like maybe a few weeks or a month old or maybe a little older than that so maybe there's an update if there's an update please let us know interesting Mm -hmm. and you know look look i'm not i'm not now now let's just let's just be honest and real here i ain't mad at you for banging a freaking 20 year old hell no i ain't mad at you no fuck the shit out of her enjoy that shit while you can Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like as, as nasty as that might sound like go go for it bro you know like the fact that she's in another relationship is a little you know that's not cool um but that just makes, you know, both of you an asshole. But I mean, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But, you know, like at, at the end of the day, if if, you know, if that's the case and, you know, you're getting it, enjoy it, you know. Um, But, you know, understand that a lot of the time in that type of a situation, there's a little something else going on, especially with that profession. And I'm not mess. I'm not saying that all strippers are assholes or, you know, no. blah, blah, blah. That's not the case. Some of them are just doing it to get by. And that's whatever is it is, you know, but I'm just saying I'm not going to what, what what Dana likes to say, yucking anybody's yum. <laughs> I am not I am not yucking anybody's yum. Uh, but, you know, let's just, you know, call well, the spade. And let's spade. also see, like, if she's dating somebody else, he might actually be like hey did that guy or are you going out with that guy again well how much is he gonna give you this time you know like he might be in mm. full no of what the situation is mm-hmm. which is nasty also there's so many layers here yeah so many things so many, could be going on this is like an onion with so many layers so many layers sometimes it makes know. you cry it does. <laughs> I know. i want to know um anyway all right uh let's move on to the second one I, i've had enough with this guy Okay. Getting it on with a 20 year old, some bitch. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> this one says, as a prank, I would randomly move something of my wife's after she got home from work keys, shoes, phone, water bottle, what have you. Now she has started freaking out about early onset, onset dementia and cognitive <sighs> decline. No. <laughs> My simple prank turned out so much more entertaining than I thought it would be. I still find it hysterical, but now starting to feel bad. Oh, oh. shame on you. Oh, that poor. Oh, that poor lady. Well, I could imagine, too, because if you start to notice that something is off, you start to pay extra attention of when you're setting you like your keys down. You're like, OK, I am going to put them in this area. 
every single time. Right. And then if they start moving magically, I mean, honestly, instead of saying that it was cognitive decline or dementia or whatever, I would start thinking that there was a ghost, like that somebody is haunting this house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It could be ghosty. Ghosty. Um, yeah, that's kind of, wow. All right. Now, here's a question. Are you at least filming it and like getting good content for it? Mm -hmm. And then you can let her in on the joke. You know what I mean? Later. So she think she's going crazy. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, like eh, if you're just doing it to mess with the girl, um, I don't know how I feel about that after like the first couple of times. You know what yeah. I mean? Like once, twice, three times a charm. Four times a little bit too much. Five times it's habit forming. You know what I'm saying? Like At we got we got to ease abuse. up a little bit. <laughs> and it, yeah, like you, she could use that shit in the court of law and take <laughs> you know more than half of everything. He so is you know, fucking with my head. <laughs> exactly. That would be like you know emotional distress. Yes. Yeah. No. Not cool, brah. Not cool. Mm. Listen. I think it's funny as shit. I would absolutely do that like once or twice just to be a wise ass. Yeah. That sounds like something funny. Yes. Um, if somebody if if the person that you're doing it to is so like like specific about the things they do, mm -hmm. like they always put this here and they always have to have that there. They, you know what I mean? Somebody who's you know has this shit all over the place. It doesn't make a difference because they're right. Where the hell did I put it? You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that doesn't yeah. make sense. But somebody who's very, very, you know, strict about how they what's the word for it? Um. You know what I'm thinking of? Like the word for it where they're very much in line with like type A. I don't know. Like everything's got to be in its place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know that's what like I mean? type A. Yeah. So that, that again, I think that that would be hilarious in that situation. That would but be anything else. I mean, people aren't, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. But you as, know a, I mean? if, as a prank. So and like you said, as a prank, it should be like, you know, three, four times you're filming it or something to make them laugh later. Yeah. Um. But as a way of life where she is questioning her sanity. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of messed up. Might have gone a little <laughs> too far there. <laughs> it's kind of messed up, man. That's messed up, man. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways. Um, you got anything else to say about this one? No, it's it is hilarious as a prank, as a ongoing thing. You know, I don't know how I feel about it. Mm, I want an update. I want to know if he's still doing it. Um, all right, I'm gonna go to the next one. Okay, this one says, "Ooh, a little, little, little crazy here." Hold on, Ooh, okay. says, had sex in a haunted house. Something about it being so dark here and everyone scream and no one we could get caught made it super hot. Also, the sound of the chainsaws. I'm not sure what kind of kink that is. Maybe a horror kink. Interesting. All right. All right. Getting in a bounce. It is dark Doing in it? those things. Yeah. I mean, you know, that. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't go into those things because, you know, I told you, as always, I have a swinging complex and oh. I will I will swing. <laughs> yeah. You know about that. Like, I, I cannot go into haunted houses that have. Let me let me rephrase. Mm -hmm. I cannot go into a haunted house that has live actors because I will knock them the fuck out. Got it. Um, in Salem, I, you know, like I, I've gone and I go through this, the walks and the stuff where, you know, as long as it's not live actors i'll go uh -huh. in you know where they have the quote-unquote jump scares because those usually don't get me yeah. um you know it's the live actors where they're in your face where it's like you know what i mean <laughs> how you want to hit it there you go um you know what i'm saying because uh, you know and and that happened in salem years ago years years ago when i was with my ex yeah. so uh yeah um don't don't do it that's so it you don't, don't do put it. yourself in the situation that is that is very grown of you <laughs> isn't it isn't yeah. it because if i knocked someone the fuck out you'd be like brim what the fuck did you do what the you, hell brim you, you would yell at me i know you would yell at me that's not the way brim that's not the way to handle this type of situation we don't First, you use need our to, fists for our emotions to, <laughs> yes we need to write a letter <laughs> <laughs> my girl data who writes letters. Uh, i'm gonna write a letter mm -hmm. and if that doesn't work then we go to the next level that's right <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm just messing with you because you know i gotta mess with you a little bit but uh, yeah i think this is i'm not mad at this one you know what i'm saying as long as you didn't spooge on the floor you know uh you tidied oh, up gosh. Then, and then somebody steps in it 
Yeah, or slips in it. You know Ooh. what I mean? That's not cool. Yeah. Can you imagine like, you know, getting getting like knocked down and, you know, like in spooge? You know what I mean? Ooh. Like, bah, 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 bah. can't can't handle. So, can't handle. OK, here's the thing. If you have a horror kink, I guess, is that what we're right. calling it? A horror kink? I, I um, guess. So if you have a horror kink, can't you just like turn the lights down low and like put on screaming on Pandora or some shit like or, or, <laughs> noises or something like, I feel uh, like there's a way to relive this throughout the year. It's a different vibe, I guess. I mean, you know, like, I mean, I've been I've been in. Have you been in a haunted house or no? Mm-hmm. OK, you know, like I've been in some like the craziest haunted houses. I just go in when they're not open. You know, they'll take me for a tour before yeah. they open. And um, like they're really cool. And there's a lot of different like nooks and crannies and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I, I think that it might be different actually doing it there, because, again, like he said, and I think it's I think it's a um, like we're, for people that that do it in public or they want to do things. Oh, in public, yeah. The fear, the, of you know, getting the, caught. the fear of getting caught, I think, is like for me. Fuck that. I don't want to get caught. No, <laughs> no. First of all, no, nobody needs to see my bare ass. That's for one. OK. That's for one. Ain't pretty. I don't want nobody to see it. Maybe if it was pretty. It'd be different. No, I don't. I sure as shit don't want anybody seeing my woman's ass, you know, or anything yeah. else. So, you know what I mean? And and, um, you know, so for me, like, I, I don't want I wouldn't want to get caught, you know, like yeah. and ju- and you could get you could get arrested for that. You could catch charges for that shit. That is definitely something that you're going to have to explain to future employers. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, right. It's like, um, it shows you have a felony here. Um, yeah. yeah. You have um, to tell your children that you can't take them to the park or to school because you need to stay 500 yards away. <laughs> right. It's kind of like it's kind of like when Pee Wee popped one off in the movie theater. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it was a it was a dirty movie. I'm sure other people were doing it. it just was the fact that it was Pee Wee Herman and he got caught. You know right. what I mean? That, that, you know, it is what it is. You know, like, um, um, you know, but again, you're going to catch charges for it. You know, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. Yeah, I was. I was. Um, um, it was in a haunted house. I got a little bit excited and um, I, I have a horror Freddy- kink. You can't fault me for a horror kink. <laughs> so Freddy Krueger, I got all excited and I got hard and, and we got just we just started doing it. It was wonderful. Some guy was chasing me with a chainsaw. I came all over the place. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, can you imagine being one of the actors and then like going, Oh, as they were in the fucking middle of it. And then he oh turned it around and like ejaculated on your face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he got scared. So they pulled out and just went, Plah! you know, Wah! there you go, Jason. You know what I mean? Like, oofa, oofa. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> um, are we done with this one? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. So the last one, our last one says, I was trying to play an innocent joke on a friend by using another very attractive friend's Instagram. I thought it would be funny to do the song lyric trend. You send a line of a song, they respond, and then your reply is the next line of the song. He sent a dick pic within six replies, and I suddenly realized why he has never had a girlfriend. Or no, no, I'm sorry. I suddenly realized why he never has a girlfriend. I can never look at him the same again. There it is. All right. Well, I guess uh, he's a grower, not a shower. Um, dude, when you or, realize that your friends are creeps like that's th- dude, he sent a dick pic like right away. Yeah. But from what he's saying, aside from that, he, he, he can never look at him again the same, which means he probably has a tiny little weenie. Oh, either that or he has a monstrous one. Um. We're Maybe. going tiny, though, just because he sent one within six replies. We're not giving him any room here. He's tiny. The tiniest anybody has ever seen ever. I still don't send dick pics. You know what I mean? Like. Why just don't send dick pics unless they're asked for unless somebody right. specifically says, I want to see your wiener. Do not send a dick pic. <laughs> right. And even if they do ask, maybe you should think twice about sending it because it might be your right. friend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or yeah. somebody else. You never oh know. My God. Like a vault. Like, seriously, man. Like, why? Why? 
I don't get it. Stop. We've had this conversation so many times. I know. I know. No, Stop sending dick pics. There's no reason for it. Dicks are not fucking attractive. You know what I'm saying? I have I have an you don't even want to say cute. That's bad when it's you know, don't say cute to a penis. Well, I have to say cute to this guy because he has the tiniest little thing ever in the whole world. He might have a micro penis. Maybe he was thinking that would get him some love. Again, you know, like some of these people are like, oh, look at my dick. And it's like, OK, you know, like, well, I, I, listen, I have a cute beat that I want to say cute. I have a nice looking <laughs> penis. For a penis, but a penis is not nice looking. But it's you know still what I'm a, saying? It's like saying that's the cutest little mole rat I've ever seen. Thank right? you. <laughs> Thank you. It's not cute. It's not good looking. It's not pretty. You know, like, yeah. uh, come on. Now, there could be a very nice looking vagina and then there are vaginas that are scary. That might be what is going on in the one before this, where he's got the horror king. She got mm-hmm. meat curtains like the size of Manhattan. But, you With know, it's teeth. A, the teeth. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, what do you call it? And uh, yeah, like, seriously, though, man, like don't, enough with the dick pics. I every goddamn time. And I'm so sorry that you had to see your friend's d- penis. Yeah. If, yeah. If there was much. So so it, it's got to be one that he was a creep. And two, why he doesn't get have a, never has a girlfriend, because it's just too fucking because you know. he event he immediately sends dick pics. He can't get a girlfriend because he's like, hi, how are you? Here's my dick. And every girl is like, oh, God, no, please run. Right. But there are some girls out there that I'm sure fucking appreciate that shit. Maybe. Probably. There, it takes Probably. all kinds. Takes all kinds. It does. It does. Anyway, we, so we use ha- this show for any PSA at all. It, we'll just <laughs> say it over and over and over again. Stop sending dick pics. Just stop. <laughs> Stop. Uh, you know, it, it, Dana speaks for almost all women when she says this. Mm. I speak for for, you know, any sane man. Stop, yeah. with, <laughs> stop with the dick pics. Enough with the dick pics. Shit's we have a message impressive. here on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's they're not. It's not impressive. If you're sending your dick, it is unimpressive. It is unimpressive. Because if it was impressive, there'd be somebody already on it. The fact is, it's not fucking impressive. And the, and and what do you call it? And like, you know, again, I, I, I'm not I have a penis. I think my penis is at least nice looking. I've been complimented on my penis. So I guess it is nice looking. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm and I'm not trying to put myself out there. But the at the end of the day is that it's still a fucking penis. Mm-hmm. It is not an attractive thing. You know what I mean? It's not like looking at a perfectly round, delicious ass. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or or a bre- the woman's body. The man's body is fucking ugly. You know what I mean? Maybe not with, you know, you're, I guess, if you are got a ripped body, not like mine. But, some you know, of them but are pretty. <laughs> some of them could be pretty. Um, what do you call it? But but the female form is a beautiful female form. You know what I mean? Like I could say I could say, OK, you know what I mean? I can accept that. But a penis? No, 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 no. no. Booby picks. They're good. I'll take booby picks. But our I'm mission kidding. here, our mission is to stop dick pics. No penises. <laughs> no penises. No pen 15s. Mm, uh, mm-hmm. We will not take that. Um, there's your there's your what do you call it? There's the title. No pen 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, that's about all the time we have, guys. What do you call it? Uh, make sure you check out Dana's show on batting. She does with her sister. It's fantastic. I Thank think they you. talked about urban legends this past week, which we did. And it was so much fun. So definitely go and check that one out. Yes. What do you call it? Also catch uh, new episodes, dirty little secrets every single Tuesday. And uh, also within brim skin and Thursday, 7 PM Eastern standard time. I do the grindhouse radio. Uh, so please check that out. If you're into pop culture, and um, make sure you hit up our social media. We would love for you to hit our social media. Uh, we have stickers. We'd love to send some stickers out to you. So, you know, get involved and uh, we'll hopefully hear from you soon. Um, anyway, as always, Dana, what do you call it? You want to take us out? Yes, guys. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We appreciate you. We love you. God willing, we'll see you next week. Have a good one, guys. Something from you, you got another thing coming.